Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My channel has some short videos about the introduction of basic Excel functions. In today's video, we will show you some basic operations about Excel conditional formatting rules. For example, creating a formatting rule, managing rules, applying multiple rules and deleting rules. Let's get started. Create a new conditional formatting rule. The Excel conditional formatting feature already provides many default rules that can cover most simple logical conditions. But you can still define your own rules according to your needs. Select the cell or range to which you want to apply the conditional formatting rule, such as A1, E5. Go to the Home tab and click Conditional Formatting. Under the Styles group, a drop-down menu will appear with various formatting options. Select New Rule from the drop-down menu. You will see the New Formatting Rule dialog box pop up. In the new formatting rule dialog box that appears, select a formatting rule type from the drop-down list to determine which cells need to be formatted. Then load the appropriate rule description. You can set your formatting rule conditions, colors in the description. In this example, we selected the first rule, format all cells based on their values, and left the default settings in the description. You can edit the formatting style, type, value, and color to make the cells look perfect. Cells formatted in two color scale have two main colors, but display their values in light or dark colors. Look! The numbers are formatted with the new rule properly. Modify a conditional formatting rule. You can modify the rules for conditional formats per on your need. Such edit the type or color. Select the cell or range to which the conditional formatting rule has been applied. Click on conditional formatting. Select manage rules from drop down menu. The Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box pop up. Click Edit Rule button to edit the rule. You can edit the formatting style, type or color or whatever you want to change. The formatted cells are displayed refer to the updated rule description properly. Apply multiple conditional formatting rules to same cells. You can apply multiple conditional formatting rules to the same cells in Excel. Just create more than one rule, each of which can have its own criteria and formatting style. For example, you want to create three rules to highlight cells by setting their background color to red if the cell value is greater than 200 yellow if the cell value is less than 50, and orange for the other cells. These rules can be set to work simultaneously, allowing you to analyze different aspects of the data in one view. Select the cells or range you want to apply the format. Click the new rule in the conditional formatting drop-down menu. Select the rule type you want to apply. In this example, we want to mark cells in different colors based on cell values, so we can select Format only cells that contain. Then in the rule description, create the first logical condition. Greater than, enter the condition value 200. Click the Format button next to the preview to format cell. Select red color. Then click OK. You'll see all cells greater than 200 are red. Referring to the same rules and methods, create the second and third formatting rules. The conditions are less than 50 and between 50 and 200.
Copy conditional formatting to other cells or range. You can apply conditional formatting rules from other cells to your target cells in Excel. Select the cell that has the conditional formatting that you want to copy. Go to Home tab. Click Format Painter command under Clipboard Group. Then select cells where you want to copy conditional formatting. Release your mouse and you will see the cells are formatted refer to the rule. Conditional formatting with formulas. In addition to simple logical conditions, we can format cells based on the true result of the formula. In this example, according to the formatting rules of the formula ISODD is true, all odd numbers are green. Select the cells to which you want to apply conditional formatting. Click Conditional Formatting to New Rule, and New Formatting Rule window will open. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box that appears, select the type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format values where this formula is true field, enter the formula that determines the formatting, for example, equals ISODD, A1 which is used to determine if the number is odd. Click the Format button next to the preview. Select a color to fill the background to format your cells. You can also set the font or border. Find cells that have conditional formatting. If you want to know which cells are conditional formatted in the entire worksheet, you can use Excel Go to Special function to check if cells are conditional formatted. Go to Home tab. Click on Find and select Command under Editing Group. A drop-down menu list will open. Select Go to Special sub-menu. A dialog box titled Go to Special will appear. Check on the option Conditional Formats and click on the OK button. Excel will now highlight all cells in the worksheet that have conditional formatting applied. You can see the cells being selected or highlighted. Delete a conditional formatting rule. Suppose there are multiple conditional formatting rules applied to the selected cells and you want to delete one of them. You can delete a rule correctly via the Manage Rules menu. Select cells that contain conditional formatting rule. Go to Home tab on the Excel ribbon, and click Conditional Formatting command under Styles group. Click on Manage Rules submenu. Select the rule that you want to delete, then click Delete Rule button. Click OK. Clear Conditional Formatting Rule. You can clear formatting rules for one or more cells to which the rule is applied. You can also clear the rule for the entire worksheet with a single click. Let's take a look at the exact steps. Select cells that contain conditional formatting rule. Go to Home tab on the Excel ribbon, and click Conditional Formatting command under Styles group. Click on Clear Rules submenu. Select Clear Rules from the selected cells, or clear rules from the entire sheet for your needs. Use Quick Analysis to apply conditional formatting. You can also use Excel's Quick Analysis feature to apply conditional formatting to your tables. Quick Analysis provides a variety of formats, charts, and totals to help you perform quick analysis of your data. Select cells and a small icon named Quick Analysis will appear at the bottom right corner of the selection. Click on Quick Analysis icon, and a menu will appear with various options. 
Select Formatting tab. Within the Formatting tab, you'll see different formatting options such as color scales, data bars, icon sets, and more. 